Greetings, M squared here, and we're going to add and subtract some more rational expressions. So this is kind of a level up from the first one that we did. Notice that there are binomials and trinomials in the denominators. And that's important to notice, because whenever you have that, you have to think factoring. I'm going to have to factor in order to find a common denominator. So remember your rules for factoring. The first step in factoring is look for the greatest common factor. Then you have your patterns, your difference of squares, and then if it's a trinomial, you have different ways to do that, but we'll, we'll factor that too. So let's get started. Common denominator, we don't know what it is yet until we factor. So we're gonna factor this denominator. That's a difference of two perfect squares, which means I get a plus two and a minus two. Hopefully you remember that pattern from factoring. And over here, what I like to do is look over here and say, would one of those be a factor of this? Since this is a plus plus, I'd pick this one. It's usually a hint, because at this level, you know, they're not going to give you something, usually, that doesn't have anything in common. So we have an a plus 2 in common. That means we have two a plus 2s over here, but we don't have an a minus 2. So we're going to have to end up multiplying the top of this by a minus 2, so we can get all three factors down here. And since we need an extra a plus 2, we're going to multiply this by a plus 2 and get another one up for here. Now when I write that denominator down, um, I'm going to, well, I better do it separately. But I'm going to have two of those, so I could write it like that. And then I have that. Okay, so the first one, because this is our common denominator, the first one is 4 times a plus 2. So that's 4a plus 8. The next one, and since it's a common denominator, I'm going to write them both in this um, the numerator here. So I'm going to say minus, now let's multiply that out. What's 3 times a? It's 3a. But what's, then I have a negative 3 times a negative 2, which is a positive 6. So watch your signs there. You know, it might be better for you to on the, uh, on the side note to, you know, do it like this, negative 3a plus 6, and then plop it back in. Okay, so what's in common? Well, these are in common. So 4a minus 3a is just a. And 8 plus 6 is 14. So it's a plus 14 over all this. a plus 2 squared times a minus 2. So this is our answer. Okay, on to the next one. Remember, the first step in factoring is the greatest common factor. And it's obvious right here when everything is even that you have a greatest common factor. So, um, remember your rule for 3. I, was, I know that 2 goes into all of them, but I just say, does 6 go into 46 or 16? Well, it doesn't go into 16, so I guess I don't have to worry about the 46. But 4 plus 6 is 10. And the little rule for 3 is that if you add up the digits and that sum is divisible by 3, then the whole thing will be divisible by 3, like this one. 5 plus 7 is 12, so since 3 goes into 12, 3 will go into 57. So that's just a little side note. Let's see if we can get that greatest common factor out. When we take a 2 out, we're dividing everything by 2. We get 3x squared plus 2 goes into 4 twice and 6 3 times, so 23x minus 8. And over here, the greatest common factor is 3. Because remember, we checked already to see if that was divisible by 3. And 72 was also divisible by 3. So when we factor out 3, we get 2x squared. 3 goes into 5 one time with 2 left over. goes into 27 nine times. And 3 goes into 7 two times with 1 left over. And it goes into 12 four times. Okay, so these are just the denominators. Now I still, there's nothing in common yet. So I, these are trinomials, so I'm gonna factor those next. So when this is a 23, and I know that three times eight is 24, and that's one less, then I know my three and my eight have to get together. So I know three and eight are gonna go there. And I know it's positive, the 23 is positive. So I know I need a one there. So let's just check it. Three x times x is three x squared. Negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. And 24, which is the 3x times 8, 24x minus 1x gets me my 23x. So again, when I look at these factors, I want to see if there are any hints to what might happen over here. You see that 24 
I'm probably going to use 8 times 3, not 100% sure. If I did use 8 and 3, I'll kind of practice over here, and then I had a 2. Let's see, that would be, be a 2 and a 1. 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, that would work, because if I use these two, that's a 16, and those two make 3, so that'll work. So we're going to try 8 and 3. Since I want my 16 here, I'm going to do my 2 and 8. 2 times 1x. And they both are positive because these are both positive. So now notice I have a common factor in my denominators. And these are not common. So that's my only common one. So I'll, the whole common denominator is 2 times 3, which is 6. 3x minus 1 times x plus 8 times 2x plus 3. Because every factor that is listed has to be in this. So I have the x plus 8 in common. I use the common factor once, and then every other factor has to be used. Now, that means I have to multiply this 5 by the factors that don't exist here, which are these two. So, well, let's just make that, well, I'll put it like this, 5 times 2x plus 3. We'll go slow here. And then there's a plus sign. It's our fraction line. And then I'm going to have to multiply this 3 by the factors that don't exist here, which are 2 and 3x plus 1. I'm sorry, minus 1. I think I said plus. Okay, so let's simplify this. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 3 is 9. So that's going to have to be multiplied by 5. That's a 6x minus 2. And that's going to have to be multiplied by 3. So down here, 5 times 6x is, whoops, 30x. 5 times 9, 45, plus 3 times 6 is 18x, 3 times 6x, and 3 times 2 is 6. These are the like terms, so that gets us a 48. 45 minus 6 is, I'm sorry, that was a 48x. 45 minus 6 is 39. Now I just took care of the numerator and then, because I don't want to write this every single time, it's a lot to write, so then I'm going to write 6 times 3x minus 1 times x plus 8, times 2x plus 3. And I always want to see if there's maybe any common factor going on here. Um, let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, those are both divisible by 3. So a 3 could cancel out. So let's factor out a 3 from this 48 and this 39. 3 goes into 48 16 times, and 3 goes into 39 13 times. So we could reduce this. They're both divisible by 3. So our final answer is 16x over 13, I mean plus 13, over, and I did end up writing it again because it was reducible. But that can be a long process. That takes quite a while if you are struggling with factoring and you want to make sure you're really careful on your signs and that you go slow and hopefully you won't have too many of those to do in a row. And this is M squared signing out.